Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. This is the first one of the day in the world. You're what the fuck is good, y'all? It's your boy Bugs back with the Full Circle Podcast with my guy Jeffrey Paul Tattoos, bro. Uh, it's hard to reach. We're at, uh, we're at my guy's fucking tattoo shop. This is called Divine Designs. It's in the process of being made up. I met this guy a couple months ago, July 4th. Didn't Sir. know him a day before that. He was throwing a show. I was like, all right, I'll slide if you have a subwoofer. Yep. <laughs> made made yeah. it. Yeah, and we fucking raged. But um, shout out to uh, the mask, the fucking monkey, the other little guys. But um, tell the people who you are, bro. What do you do? Uh, what's up, guys? I'm Jeff. Uh, I am a certified scumbag. Facts. Essentially, <laughs> I mean, what else you want me to say? Nah, uh, righteous blast for me. Righteous blast me. Righteous. You know I mean? Shout out to them. Uh, no, I'm 26. I'll be 26 years old. Shit, I'm not even 26 yet. Uh, I tattoo. Trying to make that a full time job. Just recently lo- left my job. Done all that shit. I don't like this. This is anxiety in a bubble for me. <laughs> <laughs> this interview shit. No, nah, but that's. Um, I needed to get you on though because your energy is so good, and I know that people aren't used to just yeah. sitting in front of a camera. It's different no, when we're talking, and we not were talking about it. All right, once those lights go on, bro, the blood Hot. is gonna go like. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different. We'll, we'll sit here and drink but, some more PBRs. It might be a little better. But yeah, it's it's nice to treat the the camera like an, an imaginary audience. But you have to f- just forget about the camera and Hell just yeah. look at me and just talk to me. You know what I mean? So um, so dude, we met July fourth. Like what I was just saying, we we didn't know each other two days before that. No, at all. No, nope. <laughs> and the vibes were fucking great. Shout out to Coco Evolve for fucking connecting shit too. Yeah, yeah. Coco hooked me up with you. Mm-hmm. And then, or you hooked me up with Coco. Dude, it was then, Jeff, or Je- fucking Josh, J. Black. Yeah. Black Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. J. Black hooked me up now. with you, you mm-hmm. hooked me up with Coco, mm-hmm. and then they pretty much took shit, ran it, mm-hmm. and then we met and then up. we were like, and, let's do it again. Yeah. And we did it again, and now we're doing it again. Tonight's fucking October 29th, and we're at his fucking studio, and tomorrow's Mischief Night, the next show, but it's fucking pouring rain, dude. <clears throat> I need another so, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Fucking, so at least we don't have to cancel our show. Shout out to Tino Nami. He had a boat show that got switched, so we figured. Dude, I didn't we, even know it got switched. Yeah, I, did, I, I knew it got switched, but I just knew it wasn't going to be what he wanted it, so yeah. I didn't even want to, like, harp on his energy with that. Right. I wanted him to let that go, and we do have a lot to do for tonight and tomorrow oh, big time. too dude big time, big so time. so we're just moving that bitch inside we're definitely gonna put fucking clips we'll probably put clips right here and shit but um but dude so um what really got you into tattooing this place is fucking gnarly so i actually i know it didn't just fall into your lap you were fucking working. well it kind of did fall into my lap if i didn't have these fucking comfy ass spandex on you might be able to see <laughs> so i actually i've always had an interest in tattooing you know what i mean mm-hmm. uh getting tattooed from the age of 16 you know maybe 17 i think i was just barely 17 because i was driving that's when i started making music like 16 17 uh, right on. yeah so i fucking so i started getting tattooed loved the art and everything always liked drawing fucking around um never really took it seriously you know ended up flash forward about three years or two years ago so now uh, burp <laughs> <laughs> to the day that's asmr for some motherfuckers dude um a what asmr asmr is like it's like the thing where people do this and they get turned on and shit it's not good let's not do that <laughs> <laughs> so we so won't. i i went to rehab right so i i finally had the fuck uh, all lies road where'd you go for rehab i went to florida i definitely had to go to florida everybody if, in jersey goes to does everybody dude, go it, to florida not every well uh, if they don't go to Florida, they probably don't stay longer than a week. My biggest thing was it was around, so it was actually October twenty fourth. Got arrested, got a DUI, um, whole bunch of bullshit went down. Mm. Two days later, shipped myself off to fucking Florida. DUI, Par- man. Parents had great fucking insurance. Was it drinking that they got you with? No Xanax. Was oh, Xanax so DWI. Yeah, well, it was Xanax well, with the alcohol? They're both so, the same thing. Dude, I don't know. It was DWI and DUI. They're the yeah, same thing. It was, <laughs> Johnny said last time. Why is W start with the D? It's W. And I was like, because it's oh two my. U's. A D U I, D W I. That's just what made me remember that. <laughs> but a W know. is two U's. Yeah, I don't know. So, <laughs> I, my bad. They hit me. Hit me I told with you, that. I, I fucking cut people off yeah. when I just think about shit. It's all good. 
It's all good. I just don't know the difference. I, I got hit. I got a, D, got a DUI. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a whole fucking story. Um, Do you want to tell that story? Shit. So, I mean, we really can. If tell we want. <laughs> I so want to know. My came, DUI was so fucked up. Dude, so it came down to the point where life was starting to fall apart. Um, I start. <laughs> Shit, this is like super fucking crazy. You don't have to say. I it. actually had to call Dyfus on myself. On yourself? On myself. So this rehab, they were fucked. So all right, so I I was homeless, right? When I got mm-hmm. my fiance now fiance pregnant, right? Mm-hmm. It was homeless. Said, fuck it, we'll have a baby. I got nine months, right? Mm-hmm. So in six months I had us an apartment, right? So we had an apartment. We're doing shit pretty all right. You know, flash forward, now my baby is about four, nah, maybe three, three months old, two, two and a half, three months old. Um, I'm trying to expand from working, landscaping, to start my own landscaping business, trying to do my own thing, right? Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. shit gets fucked up. I'm selling meth, you know, <sighs> fucking not really doing it. Yeah, in Jersey too, right? Yeah, yeah. so... I'm, you know, moving a little bit. There, of meth. There's a lot of dope heads out here, yeah. not meth well, heads. My so buddy and I, he were, he was partnering with me, so mm-hmm. I tried being honest with him, kind of like, oh, listen, like I'm doing this for money on the side, blah blah. blah. Mm-hmm. And we had already had equipment. He wanted no parts. Now he's like, oh, I want no parts of the business. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now it's like, so he dipped. So now I had to go work a job at Amazon because I had all this equipment. Had to get rid of it because of what. I was in a in the apartment complex, so I bought a cargo van, right? Mm-hmm. He bought the cargo van. I got the fucking um, the mowers and shit, Where? right? So the mowers would go in the back of the cargo van yeah. at the fucking car- apartment complex. You know what I mean? Well, he wanted the cargo van, so I had to give that to him. And no spot for my thing or for my fucking uh, all the bread making shit. Yeah, you know what <laughs> I mean. So now it's like sitting there. So now I'm driving a 2002 Chevy Silverado with a fucked up transfer case. And my electric just got shut off. So my parents are telling me, oh, we, you and Kirsten and the baby can stay at our house. Her parents are saying the same. Mm-hmm. My ego's getting in the way. I'm like, baby, just Our generation, go. our parents is like, it's just like their parents, they, they were good with the housing <clears throat> and shit. Right, with the, right. But the shit is so fucked yeah. that people in our situation, no, even if your situation wasn't fucked like that, mm-hmm. like it's still going to be like, you could come home. <laughs> yeah, they, they, well, it took a while. It Majority. Took a, it took, yeah, it took a big while for them to even, like, so I was actually blessed last, last season, they let me move back and we moved, finally got out of the park. So mm-hmm. we, uh, they said, you know, well, they said just for the night, you know what I mean? Until you get your electric on. That's what it was. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So my ego got in the way. I said, babe, just go with your parent, you know, go to your parents for the night, blah, blah, blah. We'll figure this out. I start drinking. I'm popping my Zans. I'm uh, sitting there playing solitaire in a right house there. by candlelight. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then fucking, I'm like, fuck this. So I hit up Cam Punches. So I'm going. I go over to Cam. He's living in this apartment over in Woodbury. So I'm chilling there. I bring like a 24 ounce fucking beer. I think we split it. You like remember and specifically? Yeah. And, and, and then I was because I, I was. Type on point, you know what I mean, with mm-hmm. the Zans for a while until I blacked out and then lights are on nobody's home type shit. Mm-hmm. But so I'm sitting there for like an hour and a half. I'm like, all right, this is whack. I'm going home. You know what I mean, I gotta go home and sleep. This is fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. So I dip out. Cam, I love you. It's not you were whack, but the situation was whack. I, yeah. had, to, I had to leave. You couldn't so, handle it. <laughs> yeah, I just had to go home. So I went home, and as I'm driving, I see this cop got somebody pulled over on the side of the road, and I'm just like, Fuck it, dude. This is this guy's lucky day. And I fly by him. Knowing my house what is like a... Asshole, yeah, yeah. Fly by him, cut off exhaust. On purpose? On purpose. Just like, fly by him, right? You were just looking for... Dude, just looking for something. Like, yeah. Kind of like a cry for help type yeah, shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I pull in. I pull... Quick, make the left at the light pool. Make left at this light pool right into my complex. Mm-hmm. My fucking buildings are uh, right so there. This is what you're telling me earlier. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You, like, so I pulled did in, that, got there, jump, jumped down. You're like, if I are, make it home, they can't do yeah, shit. That's what I'm thinking. But they'll you chase know? me and get yeah. away from it. Right. So I got home. So I hopped out and they're like <laughs> license registration. I'm like, dude. Keys are out of the ignition. This is my house. You lost. I'm I going won. And so, yeah, that's what I thought. Right? I won. And then he said, "That's Give logical." Like I fucking won. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not driving, bro. You know what I mean? I'm not driving at this point. That's great. So now I'm 
Uh, so, ju- so, with so Jersey cops too, dude. West effort to, oh to be exact. Oh my god, dude. Um, the yeah. whole line of South Granted, Jersey cops are just they're, not they're about type it. They're rough. West effort's definitely rough. Mm-hmm. Um, but I definitely had a case of asshole just at the same time. Like, what, who thinks like, oh yeah, this is cool. Like now I'm here. Like yeah. I won. You know what I mean? Your beat can't get me. But so. He's like, get your license registration. I said, okay, whatever. I got to reach over, you know what I mean, and grab it out of my center console. So I gra- go to, I said, whatever, I got to grab it out of my center console. He says, okay, do that. So I go to do that. Next thing you know, another cop comes out of nowhere, grips me up, pulls me out, throws yeah, me up like, against nah, my fuck truck. fuck that. He ain't doing that. Yeah, so, well, he, I don't think he knew exactly. He might have, apparently they said he thought but I was, I was trying to drive away. And I'm like, Anybody for any reason they're evading? Yeah. Well, I already. I'm did like not letting them get back in the whip. Right. So he technically yeah. thought that. Right. So mm-hmm. at this point, now I'm like, now y'all are earning a fucking paycheck. Right. So now took, I'm a wrestler. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it took three of them to get me in a car. Right. <laughs> so they get me in a car, and I don't know if. Uh, so I got arrested twice in the same day. So they they arrested me. They took me back to the station. I got my phone call. Called my mom. She mm-hmm. came and picked me up. They released me to my mom. Well, I said some dumb shit because my mom's fucking lecturing me, this and that on the way back. She's lecturing me. I said, you make me want to kill myself. Mm-hmm. Let me out. I'm walking. So she lets me out, right? And then fucking starts driving, stops. I get back in the car. She drops me off of my house. Well, 10, 15 minutes later, now the cops are back knocking on my door again. And I'm like, dude, this is the just same drink my situation. Beer. This is the same night. So they even let you get a like, let me get picked up. Yeah, get, let me wow. get picked up. Yeah, I got picked up. And fucking so now I'm back in my house. I'm drinking my, I'm drinking a beer. I'm like, fuck, I can't believe that happened. I got DUI, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Well, now the cops come. I don't know if I wrestled them the first time. Or what? But I know I totally. But did. But this, this is when you were you were on Zannies, right? I was completely. So, so dude, what, what so, spot do you like forget? Like where do you remember and forget? Like forget and remember. I can, dude. It's it's pa- it's patchy, dude. It's super. So you, yeah, you just remember getting so, pulled over. So, you remember like I'm home. You remember. Yeah. So I remember. I remember. That's why I don't. I never flying, fucked with pills because of that, dude, dude. It was nuts. It was nuts. It just I makes you forget shit. I remember flying by them, doing all that. At this point, so now I. Now they're knocking on my door, and they said, oh, you said you want to kill yourself, so now we have to take you to the hospital and this and that. You know what I mean? Like, now you're Baker acted type shit, yeah. right? And I said, dude, I'm in my house. I'm safe. Excuse me. Let me just drink my beer. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they pretty much were like, we're going to rip down this door, blah, blah, blah. I ended up wrestling them again. <laughs> I, pre- or I wrestled them that time. Or dude, I wish, whatever, I wish dude. that there was a way that, dude, not like, for-, for you to, like, even for me, like the just times that I dealt with cops, no, shit. go to the cops' footage. Oh yeah, like just well, to get them just to have and use for so clout. So the, the one the I've never one cloud cop- chase, but if I could have those clips, right. that would the, be awesome, dude. It took four of them to get. Like my mom sat there and watched. Like it well, took yeah, four you were on drugs. Get, yeah, and I'm just. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they don't let terrible. fighters take any drugs because it's a. Dude, it was bad. Like, my dad always told me when I was growing up, he's like, I don't give a fuck how serious the shit is. No matter what, if you're fight, don't fight a motherfucker drunk, on right. crack, on anything, because they will eat your meanest shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. act like it didn't matter. Because if they were sober, they'd be not. Well, bro, I'm telling them they got to go back to the drink. My dad taught me some like gym. legit shit, like oh, yeah. as far as that's just true. survival, like yeah. that shit. Like okay, no, like turn the other way. Yeah, yeah like well, that's always on crack. That's always the, the that's always the lesson. But right. like really, those are well, really no, yeah. The but times. if you see somebody on crack, don't yeah, even fuck with them because they they want it. They 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 don't even know it, but they'll survive through it. They'll get right there sure so so what happened so, so yeah so i'm telling them dude i'm telling them they need to go back to the gym like they're pussies like calling them out dude like fucking terrible bro that's and so fucked up. it took it took four of them to get me in the fucking car and by this time my pants are at my ankles mm. so now they got me in the car and the dude's on his knees pulling my pants up and fucking putting my pants up. i said hey i bet you like be on your knees you know? <laughs> dude they're just ripping them dude terrible dude you should have been so, on cops you should have been dude, on the it show was, it was super you been fucking, on the fucking show, bro. terrible i think i had blonde hair at the time i don't i don't no i didn't have blonde hair it was like a little bit of purple because i just had this uh Snapchat memory of that shit. <laughs> yeah, well, Bro, me being, right, me being on, in I there. gotta say something about Facebook and Snapchat memories and shit yeah. like that. Like, I get the notification every day. Like, I turned 
You know how you get the little red thing when you get like a text or something? Yeah, yeah. Well, I turned thing. that off on the apps because I don't want to like feel obligated to go on the app. Yeah. What that did was make me check the apps more. Yeah. Because that thing wasn't there. And now I'm like, well, someone might have done it. So like right. I tricked myself as far as that goes. Mm. But it doesn't it doesn't work. I, I mainly look back to my memories now just for my kids. You know what uh-huh. I mean? I want to look back and see them because they're great. That's cool, you know? but like Sometimes, like we grew up with Facebook, essentially, like we yeah, were yeah, yeah, young yeah. with it when My it started, and all that. Yeah. So there's some memories that you see that you're just like, "Fuck!" Oh yeah. Oh uh, well, my so my Snapchat, and it, I think it brings us. Because, like, we're, we're seeing so much shit we're not normally supposed to. This is, like, an ongoing thing that I talk about on this podcast, that right. we see so much shit that we're not supposed to see, and it makes us feel and do things that day that we wouldn't have done oh, yeah, yeah, had for we not sure. seen it. Well, so yeah. had I not woke up and saw a picture of my ex-girlfriend that I really don't care about, but now that I saw that moment, I remember in, that day. Right, yeah. Facts. And now I'm like, what yeah. am I doing today? Yeah. And you kind of relate it. It's yeah, like it's a cycles. constant comparison. Right. Yeah. Of like, where was I yeah. last year at this time? Yeah. Yeah. I saw this memory last year. Yeah. You. Like, oh my god, it's fucked, bro. Yeah. yeah I, I turned it off, and it's still. Well, they, they, it still so offers somebody it. used to tell me they said the best look back, but don't stare. You know what I mean? That's one of the best things somebody That's ever the best said. Thing to me. about look anything back, is but don't staring. Stare. The well, best but, thing about looking is. Staring. Well, no, but it's like look back. Damn, that's look deep. Back I, to I, the past, I, that's just but don't deep. stare. That's you know what I mean? Deep, you can dude. look back and think about the times. Oh, I'm a stare, bro. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. For I, sure. I don't. I, I do too, and I let it hit. I'm, I'm very emotional. I look at right? it. I look yeah. for new things. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Um, dude, even something I just read, and it's crazy because this is like I've noticed. Like this is why I started getting bigger and um get my body right, and mm-hmm. because. This time, this time, yeah, of this I'm there season. finally. That's yeah. an ongoing thing on the podcast too. They they've seen like, all right, I've yeah, said this progress. month I'm done with cookies, and uh, then a month yeah. later I'll be like, I ate the cookies. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, so I'm saying, so I notice like my I go through cycles. <clears throat> no, it's, I mean? and and you're a binger. You go hard. Well, That's what I do. Even, so, but, right, so, so I'll eat really good for three weeks, but then I'll eat really right. bad and cancel it all out. Well, so so hear me out with this. So. I'm sorry. I, you're good. You're good. So ju- something as simple is I have bell peppers in my fridge right now, mm-hmm. right? I had a memory today that today on this day, I made stuffed bell peppers, right? Mm-hmm. Last year? Le- t- last year, yeah. It's just the season. So I it's guess just, it's that, it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, But I also start getting seasonal depression. So around this Everybody time, out here does. Right. You know, It's so a real thing, bro. It, it, it is, but at the same time, it's psychological. Because once I, I start taking rain. aware... I don't like I, rain like this that you can't do shit. I love right. just the overcast of like, you need this. If we didn't have this, we wouldn't have the plants and shit. Yeah, so yeah like, for sure. There's a thing about that as far as a creator I Florida, creating right? music and... Oh yeah, because they're spurts and, and, and it's, it's real. And that's it's war- yeah. and it's warm. That's and the rain out I like. there, and you're fucking- the drops are like this big because they're falling still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those. That's the rain I like. But like something about rain, but this kind of rain where it's windy and coming in, it's- rain that comes in sideways. So that's why I that went shit. to Florida. That shit's dud. You know what I mean? So that's why I went to Florida because uh-huh. it was around this time. You know what I mean? So it was like, so when all that shit happened, you know, that night I ended up getting. I spent. Uh, two days in a psych psych ward, John again in Florida. No, here. Oh, right. um, in in Underwood, met up. Is that some... kind of down by the shore? No, kinda? no, 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 no. Oh, it's right. it's going towards Camden Woodbury area. Right There's there. another spot yes. down there. Like when you drive by it, you're like that place is something creepy, and then you figure so out. So this that's is just like a, this is just like a wing in the hospital. Oh, so yeah, they're extended yeah. in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. place was like a. Actual insane asylum type plantation, shit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah. No, so back I in the day, that was some days, shit. I did two days there, and it was like, it was kind of like, okay, my girl's been asking me to go, my parents don't want me to go. I'm thinking everything's fine. Okay, obviously shit's not fine now. And now I got this drug charge. You know what I mean? I got myself into some shit, like not for nothing. And I'm not racist. Anybody that knows me is not like knows I'm not racist. That was pure fucking white privilege. Mm. Like if I if if I was not white, I probably would have got shot. Been fucked, like yeah. definitely, like you know what mm. I mean. Like that was you were what, doing some crazy shit. Yes, you know what I mean. That would not mm. end today's world, and it's fucked up. You know what I mean. Mm. Um, well, I had the same thing. Not to cut you off, I have to say it right now, just yeah. so it's tied into that. Right. The first time I ever got arrested, it was with me, my boy Tyree. 
I love you, bro. I haven't seen him in fucking 15 years oh, no, okay. since we were kids, kind of, that around that age. But we were smoking with a kid who was 10 years older than us in his car. Right. And um, when we were rolling up, cop pulled us over in my neighborhood. Mm. And I didn't, I had braces, so I couldn't like eat the weed. Oh, yeah. And he was like, I got you. I got the dude driving the car. And he was more obviously 10 years older than me. I was 16. Right. right. He was prepared to eat the weed. And oh, yeah. Drink the water real quick. Uh-huh. When I went to give him the blunt, and this was Middy's at the time, mm-hmm. so it was like a yeah. lot of weed. Right. And he went to grab it from me as I went to give it to him, and the weed went everywhere, uh, bro. Wow. And instantly, the cop is like, I was the only white kid. He was black, and the two people in the bay was a black girl. My boy Tyree was black. Right. And he was 17, I was 16. And when the cop instantly, all he saw was, and we just became legalized. It's still really weird to me. Mm-hmm. I don't even believe it, kind of. Oh, yeah, it's definitely but, weird. But he saw all the weed and just threw him out on the ground, yeah. rough as shit. Yeah. Took me out really nice. And that was 15 years ago, you're saying? 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Took years them ago. out. Yeah, oh, yeah, like, no, yeah, like 10 years ago. Took them out real nice. Mm. Or no, took me out real nice. Took them out rough as shit. The girl rough. Started searching her purse just illegally, like even yeah. though they're, they're the passenger and shit. Treated them all really rough and sat me on the curb really nice. Yeah. I'm fucking 15, 6 when this is happening. Right. And I already knew that. I was already the wigger. I was the white kid that right. danced and shit. So right. everybody, I, I was that. already that. that. that but like the dancing. fact that now I'm... Now I'm really see- – and I already knew that racism was a real thing. And, like, yeah. when we talk about systemic, we're talking about just, like, these people are assholes. These people aren't. Like, that's yeah, what I mean. That's, that's all it is. That's how it, it should is. be. It's so, really how it should be. Dude, so that's not it. That's not it. They put – since me and my boy were under 18, they put me in the back seat of the cop car with Tyree. When they put me and him in the back seat, the cop driving us to the station turned the ca- camera in the car onto Tyree yeah. and said, smile. Really? Kept the camera on him for the ride. So this is when I was a little kid. So talking about what you're talking about, this was somebody else. Anybody that looked yeah. slightly different, yeah. they would be like, oh, no, this is done. Mm-hmm. But for you, they allowed just, it to be like, yeah. oh, he's just going a little crazy. He yeah. has, he doesn't have it figured out. Yeah, for me, crazy. it's like, oh, he's just the white kid smoking with – no, motherfucker. I was the one with that weed. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, they, you know what they, I mean? They, they, and, they, they, dude, they tried and tried and tried to, like, say that I got the weed from him. Right. Well, but that's I what did, I'm thinking But right I away. didn't because that, I got the weed from my, my sister's friend who's eight years older than me right so i got the weed from her friend but, but they ain't snitching they on wanna, no one right so they were just trying to to pin well, it well they want us trying to be like oh you're trying to sell this little white boy fucking weed when no motherfucker he picked me up from school and we were just hanging he, we were yeah. rapping you know freestyle rapping like yeah. the, this motherfucker was a monster and like I it's know. a weird thing because i can't i feel bad because bro he was 10 years older than like around that age and where you can actually i was 16 and an i couldn't snack. do shit at that the second i got arrested bro i was on <laughs> lockdown from my yeah. from my parents that's when i moved from from arlton to collingswood oh okay so i and before that i was better. like i was surviving in <laughs> yeah. iss like i didn't go okay. to like i wasn't like that but i'm yeah. sorry so that i just had to say that, that no the, yeah it, the racism truth, shit dude, is so when i when i, when I say Mar- shit, when i say marlton shit. cops are trash when i say medford <laughs> cops are trash when i say ocean city that's a little weird but places like that we don't mean they're trash as like they're mean or they pull you over for a ticket no they do profile people who wear fitted hats. Dude. They profile people Bro, who just just the other night. One please. of the rules is don't wear a hat while you're driving. Like how right. fucked up is that? Dude. Not even about any of that shit. Listen to the this. The weed they they were so crazy about the weed. It's like it's really bad. And that's bad. dude. Just the other day, right? So we're leaving here, right? Mm-hmm. We were working, or no? I'm sorry. We were working here. We go back to my house. My I'm with my two buddies, right? Mm-hmm. Now I have tattoos on my forehead, right? Yeah. Um, oh, you look like you're, but, you're so, in a tattoo shop. So my buddy in that's going to be I want to tattoo my here, face right? so bad. It's gonna ha- it'll happen eventually. I, I can't. Know. I can never do it. It might. Well, eventually, I, you I'll might, do you it might, when you, I'm. You will. You will reach I'll do it when that I'm sixty. You will reach that. Financial no, I'll do it freedom. when I'm sixty. You'll reach that when financial I'm older freedom where you can. No, I'll, okay. no, I feel like there's a prestige I must reach as a human being to be like I can tap my face now. Well, yeah, when you have financial freedom, you don't have to listen. No, it's not about that. It's know, about my where, mother. Well, that's... Yeah, yeah, well. My mom's going to look at me like, my child. <laughs> and uh, she's going to be like, my grown-ass child what at 60. Why are you doing this now? <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, if she's alive when I'm 60, that, I'll, 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 I'll cool. I'll die. I'll I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm I'll cool with blessing. that. I'll die right so, there. So, yo, so we're... Dude, literally they pull us over. We were going, and I was driving because I wasn't drunk. 
and went to just go get them cigarettes, right? Dude, not even... Paul's brother just pulled, pulled us over, you know? How are the Paul's brother cops? They're all new right now. They're all rookies. This is, this is one of them towns. So, listen, so... No, they put all the new ones here. Yes. They put them in Trenton. They yes. put them in Camden. So, That's how they so do it. So now they That's pulled us fucked over. Up. They said our registra- the registration was bad on my fucking car, right? That's why the cops be doing fucked up shit in these fucked up places. Well, so my Besides homie, the listen, sergeants. My buddy was in the back seat, right? I, there's two car seats. Because they're new. So he's squeezing in the back. But he's his whole face is done up. You know what I mean? Bro, they would not stop asking him for his ID. This and that. You don't have your seatbelt on in the back seat. Sir, that doesn't over matter. Eight. 18, yeah, he's yeah, over yeah. 18, he does, so ultimately, they never got his ID, yeah. right, I ended up getting, I didn't, uh, the insurance is on the app now, Kirsten was sleeping, so fucking, she couldn't send me the picture of the insurance, I didn't know where the in, the registration was in the car, that, that so whole process is so like that, weird, but, insurance, registration, license, like, yeah. all these things are so weird, it's my vehicle, I am this person, yeah, I understand a vehicle like that, but the insurance is so extra too. Did you it, can't well, even drive without insurance. No, no. Which I get that it does save you. I understand but it, it, but it's be, all it's like we were talking well, about it's stocks. Actually, it's like money isn't even money. That right. that insurance, insurance isn't even is worth it. Right. Which it's just right. that's why I fuck with the, the a reallocation the, of what's money. That dollar, Health insurance, life insurance. Is it a dollar a day? Fucking, shit? we are farmers. Dun, 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 mm-hmm. They're farming humans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. They're no, farming. You, we are money. being farmed, right? Because they're making money off you and guys our fucking. health insurance. Mm-hmm. God forbid. Yep. God forbid it never happens. God forbid but, I do some dumb shit like yeah. you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I definitely need life. You didn't get hurt though. Did you get hurt with what? That whole ordeal of tackling the cops? No, no, no. I was physically. Good. No, I my 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 knees were fucked up. My wrists had bruises on them from the cuffs and shit. Fuck bruises. Yeah, yeah. No, I was good. Yeah. yeah so yeah. you weren't like nothing. No, yeah. no. Just beside, like they hit my thighs a little <laughs> so bit. You were on that. that. See, that's why you can't fight motherfuckers on that shit, dog. No, I wasn't. Th- I wasn't. It happened to me. In I was Atlantic just resisting. City, dude. I wasn't. So put. Let me. So I wasn't even really wrestling them. I was just resisting like a motherfucker. You know what I mean? I was just. <laughs> that's still <laughs> gotcha. you know what I mean just like that's still really him. hard to yeah, deal dude, with it was dude. so funny dude. Mr. Mime and shit dude it was fucking hilarious so yeah so I did that I had all that shit going on and I was like yo um I should probably go this time. Maybe when it comes to, you know, with the judge and all that, they'll see I went to rehab. Oh, you weren't just going to court before? You were just, like, not going to the appointment? I, dude, no, I literally, literally... When you, left, after, when, when you left the cop station, what did you do? Like, from that ordeal? So, I left the cop station the first night, yeah. right? The what? first time that night. Yeah. Went back to my house. They were back Yeah, 15 and you minutes. fought them again, and yeah. then... so, and then I went back. I went to the psych ward. I was in the hospital for two days. Two days, okay. Well, so and October, that's in Jersey still? Yes. Okay, so then what? So, After and this? then I came home October 26th, the morning, or... It's this time of month, man. The, October 26th in the morning. Time of year. And then I flew down to Florida... October twenty seventh or October twenty. So it was like within. I got to look at the dates. I got All right, the so yeah, somewhere. so that was within but the so same within week. like two days of that happening. So how I long were you in Florida? Florida? Uh, I did the John where like you're like the like, like a month. Excuse me. I was down. I was in Florida for one hundred thirty days. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there. I did the whole the whole bitch. I fucking did uh, um the inpatient the nice, shit. All of it, yeah, yeah, the inpatient shit where I was there for a little bit. How was it? How many people? Hold on. How many um, people did you see that are milking the system? Well, in Florida was acted. It's actually like the recovery. In like, Florida how many people did you really see good. that are just there to sober up so they can go get more fucked up again because of their tolerance and shit? None, actually. Um, you think they were majority, all genuinely? Yeah, yeah. Majority of people were actually there. I was a lot of older people for alcohol, realistically. <sighs> um, in the same sense, alcohol um, sucks, bro. There's about six. Six people that like I actually got close with that ended up passing away like within that time. Like, oh shit! There was yeah, they, there was this, they just sucked because like there it sucked because like when you wanted to try to find somebody to check up on somebody, you kind of search their name and then search the obituary. Deceased. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So it was like <clears throat> like there was this one dude, Vincent, bro. Um, he owned a salon. 
right? Like this mm-hmm. salon in like New Hampshire or something, I want to say, right? And dude, dude cried for me one day because I would ride my bike, right? Like instead of hopping on the fucking druggy buggy with them from our PHB place mm-hmm. to the to the sessions during the day, I would ride my bike there, right? And I'm like just fucking laughing because I'm riding in the middle of the road and shit, and they see me, mm-hmm. and he's kind of how coming. you drive, yeah, yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so they they see me, you drive right? like a monster. Uh, so they see me, and, and he's like brought it up, and he's he's crying for me, bro. Like him and I grew such a big fucking bond. Well, like, he, like, you know, like, when he left, it was like, oh, dude, like, you're going to do great, this and that, this and that. One night, I just started randomly. Um, I was actually, before I decided to take tattooing on full time, I fucking searched up his name because I was about to get my barber's license and shit like that. But then I found mm-hmm. out he was able to do a whole cosmetology you gotta, shit. You have to actually go to school for that. You have to do cosmetology. Yeah, like. And then do barber school. You can't just go to be a barber. No, dude. It's like, what? Imagine if there was rapper I'm going to have a barber chair in here. Just the, this is how I look at cool. all of this shit. And the fact that we have internet, our generations and yeah. shit, is, is kind of probably why. But the first person to ever play the drum wasn't taught how to play the drum. Right. The first person to ever... And now, obviously, things improve. Right. But right. the motherfuckers who really did this shit... They I'm talking Jimi Hendrix. I'm talking Allen Iverson. I'm talking the perfectionists. Right. They just fucking did it. Right. They didn't fuck. They learned after, mm-hmm. but originally they just fucking went. Yeah, they had gifts, and yeah, now they just now did it. Is, now they, so I don't think it's gifts, dude. I think they just did it, and they did it in their way. Because Allen Iverson, if he tried to play like well, Shaquille seen, O'Neal, like imagine if Shaquille O'Neal tried to chain Allen Iverson as a kid how to play basketball. Right. Allen Iverson wouldn't have become. You ever watch that motherfucker Allen play Iverson. football? So I don't Al- think anybody should, should – yeah, yeah. yeah. Allen Iverson playing football. He's fast as shit. He's gnarly at football. Fucking dude, I don't think anybody, especially in, if it's in like a tattooing, like an art style, drawing, music, I don't yeah. think anybody should just be so honed in on like – I need well, this. Well, that's where my whole my whole thing with tattooing is completely unconventional. My mm. one buddy completely fucks with me all the time. Mm. Shout out, Ty. Love you, bro. Completely fucks with me all the time because... I'm sure there's mad standards that, well, like... Well, because you're supposed to go do your apprenticeship and you're yeah. supposed to, you know... Put what are they? Into, Can you, so, I'm interested. Yeah, that, yeah. So like, you're supposed to have 2,000 hours... Be careful with that, uh, because... Yeah. Yep. 2,000 hours to um, a year in a shop under an apprenticeship. You mm. know what I mean? And you know, Kind of like an intern? Yeah, essentially. For Just an free? Apprenticeship. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're free. Eventually 2,000 hours. Yeah, yeah, which is like a year of 40-hour that, week. That's what you can do alone. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah. Well, so that's where it came down to where like – me, I'm, I'm getting, I was getting late, super late in my fucking life. I have two kids, yeah. you know. Well, I had one. It's not with, super late, but at the same time, when we're just you so hyper generated, but, but when you have bills like that, I have, yeah, I can't take off that time to work. To do so it, yeah. it worked out because I was building pools, right? So I was building mm-hmm. pools. You get laid off in the winter, so I got laid off in the winter. I started doing an apprenticeship in a shop. Well, mm-hmm. now shit's coming back. I'm not really making enough money. I have to go back to work. Mm-hmm. You know. I mean, so now I have to go back to work. So I kept tattooing on the side, as unconventional as as it is, you know. So I kept doing it on the side, <clears throat> went back to building pools, and then got the job with the glass, and <clears throat> was able to start building this. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And now it's to the point where <clears throat> once I can get open. I I know I could survive. Like no, so so all right, so so awesome. So when, so you, from Florida. So I started. So when I was in the so, PHP program. Yeah. Right. So this is where it's called partial hospitalization. Mm-hmm. So it's literally they have this little apartment building where you pay five hundred dollars a month, right, for your room. You guys, you still got to go to classes and do all this shit. You know what I mean for rehab, mm-hmm. but it's like you ha- you start being able to get out into the world and go to meetings and yeah. do all that. So I ordered a uh, Amazon tattoo machine. <laughs> really? So I was, How much I've, was it? I've, it was like a Was it a real tattoo sh- tattoo machine? Yeah, yeah, it was like $36. $36. It was, I did like, all right with it. Like it was did like, you tat yourself My thighs all? are covered. Oh, yeah, that's where you are. I, I would have done sitting, the same thing. I was sitting in rehab, dude, just, you know, just <laughs> with my thighs. So you I have, I have a letter from my— You became your own intern. 
Yeah, yeah. All you myself. became your yeah. own apprentice. Yes. You did your 2,000 hours well, in a way. Well, it wasn't 2,000, but. No, but well, through, since I began, I have easily done 2,000 hours of tattooing. But, and, and then adding thing. that, though. Yeah. Because you were like, I'm not going to put no dumb shit on me. I yeah, mean, maybe uh, well, you were. Oh, I definitely, Your I, face is like, no, I yeah, would. Yeah, yeah, I definitely did. I was just, I was doodling. I would just fuck with the machine yeah, and be just like, figure, okay, feel the how, skin. Dude. Yeah, how's it gonna work? Were you, you shaving? Know? You were shaving, obviously. Yeah, I did everything. I would always yeah. wear, make sure wear that gloves, it was like wear gloves, like even different tattoo myself. You know, would you like flex to try to give it a different thing? Well, or? when you tattoo, you always want to stretch the skin and shit like that. So you want it soft. You want it taut. Like, 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 stretch. Like, out. so my leg, I'd want it straight or bent. It doesn't oh, matter. Oh, bent. So you it, want my leg bent. So it doesn't matter. However, you are comfortable. We're going to work the best, you know what I mean, to make sure you're comfortable. But like where right I'm there, tattooing. That right there that I burnt taking a fucking dab. Like, so I, I that you could be however you want, but I'm going to stretch your skin. Oh, yeah. Either way, you're going to stretch. You know what I mean? Way. So I'm going to put my two fingers and I'm going to stretch. You know what I mean? I'm going to stretch your skin. Or I want to get tattooed forearms. tonight. Look, this is a good thing. Look. It's not. I have too many beers. I'm kidding. So, that's a good one I learned. So you just squeeze the back of the arm, see how it stretches the skin. Uh-huh. So now what I happens? You can't drink is, and do so, that. <laughs> I mean, I've done it, but I'm not, <laughs> not if you want something good. Sure. Um, so <laughs> when, when, what, what happens is, is when you stretch the skin, right? If you don't, if it if it's like this too much, the the needle is just gonna bounce off type shit. Oh, so true. when you stretch it, now it's. T- Goes in. Yeah, it actually fucking penetrates the skin properly. Who did all those? So, um, so this is actually a bunch of different people. This was old homie Dalton Dalton underscore GDP on Instagram. Fucking kills it now. He's over at Amkara in um, uh, PA. He fucking phenomenal. From like this is like not his fir- him first getting started, but like around that time he did this as well. This I did on myself. This was my homie Billy who did my side. Gnarly. And then this was his apprentice, my boy Ty did this. I did that on myself. This was Billy, Billy, Billy's apprentice, and this was my homie Ty. Majority of this shit's the same three people that have tattooed me. Between Dalton, that's what. I'm, that's why I'm waiting. I want to so have. I pretty the same. much went Dalton. Bit my homie Billy, who did my side and did these. This was like my first real one. So I actually went Billy first, then met Dalton, and then went back to Billy. And then Tyler was uh, Billy's apprentice. So then I started working with Ty. Now me and Ty are real tight. So now majority of the time, if I get tattooed, it's by Ty. True. You know what I mean? Um, but my homegirl, Sam, that's going to be apprenticing here. She's going to I want to give her a shot to tattoo me a lot. Figure it out. Yeah. yeah. But So I actually have a, a email. From my therapist, like that says, Jeffrey, please refrain from tattooing anybody during treatment. Oh, wow. <laughs> because I was tattooing my homie, right? And like they just gave, started giving me a whole bunch of problems. The PHP place tried telling me they were going to take my machine and put Why? it in the closet and this and that because it's addict behavior, they said. Anything could be. That's, dude, right. if, they, if they told Kobe that he couldn't play basketball, the fuck are you talking you about? Know? So it was, it was super funny. They ended up, I bitched. I said, listen, I pay you to be here. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, you're not going to tell me I can't have this in my room. If you want to tell me not to tattoo somebody, fine, I won't. But, but I'm tattooing me. I do it all. <laughs> and, and yeah, right. You know what I mean? I'll tattoo myself. Fuck you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But like all the the majority of the night techs, they were cool with it. You know what I mean? They turned their fucking shoulder. One of them wanted to get tatted the one day. I said, no, that's not happening. Yeah, because that, that'll really fucking get me in trouble. But yeah, there's a lot of hell stuff that goes I was into doing it. simple little shit, just learning a machine. You know what I mean? A lot of all black silhouettes type deals. You know. But yeah, so that was. <clears throat> I came back. Started getting a knack for it, really enjoying it. Father's Day came around. My girl got me the new machine, and I just spent the money on all the equipment I needed, you mm-hmm. know. I'm at the point now where I'm pretty comfortable with the machine. I have to get my actual drawing skills up and artistic skills up. So that's where I'm at with— Now you're just drawing shit? Yeah. Well, did, been, did you ever draw? Like, what made you want to tat? Yeah. Like, so it was just doing the tattoos. So it was actually like I you said— You never so drew and shit. I did when I was younger, like mm-hmm. high school days. I drew, like, a decent amount. Um, but I did a lot of graffiti shit. You know what I mean? I, but I always loved art. But when I drew, it was like graffiti shit. Went out tagging stuff with paint markers and this and that. Mm-hmm. When I learned 
when I, from watching myself I was going to bring tattooed. a fucking I was going to bring a uh, a canvas for me and you to paint. I have some at my house. But um and I have paint. We have too much to do. We have way too much to do. I like, know. Dude, I could walk over there in the room. I had there's paint. This is the only time where you get to chill. Do you see me? I'm still swole from working out. Look look at my arm. You probably feel awesome. I can't even stretch. This is the only time we have a lot to do like <laughs> if you guys don't know like Hosting shows, whether it's at a venue or a house party or House's anywhere. House is worse, dude. It's because it's your spot. And and we got to clean everything. About, and you gotta, no, you got to clean everywhere. Like, everywhere. Everywhere. But, but no, but you but pull up to throw, a venue. When, when, no, any event, it's a lot more than But saying, if you pull up in a venue, hey, it's empty. come to my house. Hey, come to this show. That's not what it is. It's, hey, come to this show. Okay, will there be lasers? Hey, come to the show. Will there be cocaine? Hey, okay. Will there be bitches? Hey, okay. I, I seen this. What's the music like? Hey, okay. I, I seen this candle. What time? What time can I leave? Like stupid. Yo, I seen this candle. Up. It says that I'm gonna put my bathroom. It says please don't do meth in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, see that's the thing. I love that. <laughs> when candles. we walk, I didn't even notice it. We were there for three hours. The first day I met you, July fourth. Yeah. That was the day we met. So I like. I was just like, all right. I had, I knew that you were a rager if because you had a half pipe in the backyard, yeah, so I knew we were going to be good. That's and since you were okay with the in. since you were okay with the subwoofer, that's when I and I was only worried about the neighbors. I was like, all right, we'll work with it. We'll be able to make it work. But when I got in there, I was there for two hours, and I walked back to the car. You know how I am. I get shit yeah. set up, yeah. like my sound. And walk over, And then I vibe, times. and then I go, yeah. <laughs> make sure it's <laughs> there. Make times. sure I didn't leave it. Yeah. Same thing with my bedroom before I fucking leave. And when I walked back into the backyard, I saw the fucking sign that y'all had written. Oh, uh, yeah. That said, rule number three, no cock blocking. No cock blocking. Don't do it. And I'll put that right there. Don't do but, it. Dude, that's what I mean. So, like, when I, I already knew the obviously the vibes, but when I saw the sign, I was like, oh, Jeff didn't write that. That's not, oh, no. that's yeah. not a guy's handwriting. No. Yeah, that no. means Jeff's girlfriend wrote that. Yeah. That means they're down. <laughs> and I yeah, was like, yeah. I was like, all right, that's, that's all I needed to see. Like, she's definitely, as if I didn't need to see that shit before, but that sign is what I'm saying. So, like, yeah. for instance, tomorrow when we put above the basement, enter at your own risk. Yeah. And that's the place you have to go. Yeah. They're gonna be like, oh shit, this is sketchy, but it's gonna be. The vibes. basement steps are weird, bro. They were. I want show. Uh, here's a picture of those steps too, because that's a problem with. I mean, yeah. We couldn't even get the sub down there because oh, it's raining, so we wouldn't be able to fit the subwoofer. Think about it. We would get it down there. Oh, uh, we. <laughs> We, I don't doubt that. We, <laughs> all right, let me rephrase, let me rephrase that. Hard, I'm not trying it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, it would be hard. It honestly might fit through that like side window right there, but but we won't need it because of the ceilings nah, and shit. The su- the base is going to be fine, it's, but outside the 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 sound just gets like listen, I'm really I'm saying into, this I'm, from I'm, a blast from the past. Party was fire. Oh no, Kill. yeah, it was fire. <laughs> I, I'm I'm like interested to see what this sounds like because we're in a really open room in here. Oh yeah, yeah, like a very well, open, not you insulated at all. Speakers, so like when we play the speakers, it sounds nice. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. no, they sound epic. It, you <laughs> know what I mean? It's it's crazy how it follows. This is a perfect right. spot for like a little the fifty be- people private event. Yeah. Oh no, and the ciphers here are going to be fire. Yeah, yeah. By the way, we are doing ciphers here. Yeah. Divine Super design cool. ciphers, dog. Yeah. Full circle divine designs. Fucking yeah, I'm stoked for that, dude. So um, I get a beer. so bro, yeah. <laughs> so dude, like I just want to say a couple things real quick. Um, I've been uh, met a lot of people, and I'm a vibe guy. Oh yeah. So I just really want to say thank you, not for July Fourth or that or this or whatever that is. Now that I know, I didn't know your story, what you just, like I said, y'all, I just met this motherfucker. So like yeah, that yeah. story that you just told me, I just heard about the, the cop fight oh, and how, dude, let me, how, how, how you, you got mind. here. Hold on. Let me yeah, finish this. Right. How you got to where you are. Yeah. I didn't need to know none of that. Cause I already knew you went through some shit. Right. You wouldn't have a, like, these are how I connect things. You wouldn't have a half pipe in your backyard. If you weren't down <laughs> and you didn't go through shit. <laughs> right. But also it was the second, like the days before when we were talking and you were like, okay with the subwoofer like because i was like i'm not coming without the sub yeah and you were uh, like let's get a sub uh, that's that like i wasn't i don't test motherfuckers at all but like that was like oh i expected him about it i expected him to be like 
well, I don't Do think we need. Today? I don't think we need it. And I was going to be like, no, we need it. You know, there was not going to be a no. And you were right from the jump about it. So yeah. like, so those are the first two things. The sign was the next thing, and then the follow up of the legitness. I just have to say thank you oh, and yeah. really, really commend you for that because, oh, yeah. especially now hearing the story that you went through with the. Uh, the anger of existence yeah, at a right. younger age than I did. <laughs> right. My anger of existence was different. It wasn't yeah. in an an outburst of energy that I felt. Like I was, I'm ve- I was very good at holding in my anger as a kid growing up. Right. But yeah, once I, I understood what death was a couple years ago, that right. that's when I shut the world off. Right. So like, I really want to commend you for that and where you're at now and where you're fucking going. Thanks, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Trash. Where we're gonna be? Yeah, yeah. Shit, shit it's like gonna that. be wild, man. So like. That was like, I remember telling my actual story. So like that was my first go at rehab. You know what I mean? Mm. So I remember like telling my actual story at rehab. Which, yeah, like you know where you do a meeting. Thing. Well, it was actually it was at my halfway house. So I ended up going to a halfway house after. Was, yeah, mm. after I wasn't going to excuse me move back here. Yeah, I came back for my birthday, January thirty first. This uh, this last year, or like two years ago. So all right, all right. so right before the pandemic. Yeah, like right before right, that yeah, winter, like yeah. right before. It. So I wasn't. Going that was to come just back. for time frame. That was like when, 2019. That was right around the time like six of my friends had died, really? and everything Sorry, else yeah. was getting really weird around existence. Yeah. So I took a step back. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and a month like, later, like, the pandemic happened, yeah. and I had already planned to not do shit for a while. Right. So the pandemic played into my like completely into right. my hands as cool. far as. But so I was kinda, alone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was yeah. sad. <laughs> yeah. I was alone. But you know, it kind of did for me too because, like, so I came back. I was. Like, just I mean, you're, no, you were alone, dog. You were. Well, you were then. But no, state but, and shit. No, I was cooling over there, bro. But I you had, were alone. You didn't know them. You had no, just, not really. But you see, like, you know how yeah. we get along with everybody. Yeah, you, shit, yeah, you know what I mean? We vibe. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? I was cooling. Um, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. I need a home base, as you can tell. Yeah. Like, I need to know where my home base is for every single... Yeah, it was it was different, dude. I mean, like, I, I was floating. I missed my daughter at home. I missed mm-hmm. my girl. But we had FaceTime and shit. I was trying... They say it's a selfish thing when you're getting clean, and it's a true thing. You have to be selfish for a little while yeah. to focus on you, because if you're not... That's where a lot... Because I have a lot of friends like that, and that's where, like, a lot of... Because I know the game. I know yeah. a lot of people do it just to build the tolerance back up. I know people are just yeah, finessing the system, for sure. Bro, if you're going to do There are people just time. coasting. There's yeah. people who are yeah. acting like they're insane in the insane asylums. Oh, yeah, right. Just playing chess board games all day. Mm-hmm. But we don't know their childhood. They probably had a fucked up childhood, and they're like... <laughs> Like yeah. that's the thing. Like yeah, you can never, never, never really try to yeah. judge or mm-hmm. uh, think you know because you you may think you know as much and you might be right on a lot of it, but you don't yeah. know every underlying shit. Yeah. You know, so it was like so. I, and I mean, every I under cool, every underlying came, thing matters. It does. It definitely it all builds up. So I came back. Um, I was it's only not back. The, it's not one thing that broke the camel strip back, dog. Right. It's all. Of it. It's an accumulation of. Every single tiny little thing that mm-hmm. y'all let go. This is why I have OCD. This is why you see me double check five triple times. Check. Yeah, yeah, double check five times. <laughs> triple check. Because, like, check. That, yeah. that's just what it is, dude. It's about safety. When when I came back, I was only coming back for a week. Mm-hmm. I've seen my girl had hardly any fucking food in the fucking refrigerator. You know what I mean? I was like, uh, how lit a fire up your ass. I was like, how am I gonna go back knowing? And I was trying. I wanted her to come with me back so bad. Yeah, so bad. But my daughter was. Did you think Jersey was a problem? So I was a little. You know, afraid. it's like it's not. The, it's not yeah, Jersey, man. You're it's, gonna find drugs. You're wherever. gonna do it everywhere. Yes, yeah. Wherever, especially in a fucking in palm Florida, tree place, bro. But, but, but in Florida, well, the thing with is, palm with Florida, trees? when motherfuckers try finding shit in Florida, it's worse. Florida's like the, a little sketchy, bro. The, yeah, the shit out there is worse. I mean, a like, lot, and they got alligators and it, shit. You can't just vibe. I mean, like you gotta be on. Everybody's fucking alligators. Somebody's getting their alligator pregnant. Yeah, you gotta have your head on swivel out there. Dude, Fuck that. It was. It was. Yeah, I mean, my, my fucking halfway house was in, like, the hood. That's the one thing about like, Jersey. We don't have, we don't have, like, fucking alligators, <laughs> venomous dude, bugs. Without, like, dude, I hardly seen, I don't think I've seen a single alligator. I was in West Palm. So I was in West Palm, and then I was in Boynton, Boynton Beach or whatever, right? But so when I came, so I ended up saying fuck going back, and I stayed. <laughs> and I was cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I still 
Yeah, uh, two days. What's today? Today's 29th. So three mm-hmm. days ago was two years without a single pill. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Fucking last time I. <laughs> Just so it. Just so you know. You even out the plan. You know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want another one? I'll need, I'll need one in a minute. Um, so, yeah, dude, so I wasn't even going to drink, dude, like, coming back. You know what I mean? And I didn't for a while. Drinking and then, sucks. But This is different. It's Friday night. When you're alone look and when you're just... Look at what we're doing. Yeah. Where life's at. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? One of the biggest things that they hit you with is, is your life unmanageable? Because... Dude, they were buying. They had to supply my toilet paper. Is your life unmanageable? Word. You know, did they have to? They had to supply my toilet paper. Mm. You know what I mean? If somebody's buying your own toilet paper, bro, your life's pretty fucking yeah. unmanageable. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So and you're not. Yeah, before, yeah, and you're young when this is happening. You're not old. You know? Yeah, yeah. You're I was young. Old, I was what? Tw- 22, 20, Under twenty four or five yeah. for that is young. You yeah, know, well, that's like when it happens dude, there, for most. Dude, it was it, it was a crazy There's a reason. I'm not, I don't mean to keep quite. No, you're good. There's it's a good. reason that like 27 is the age that rock stars die. Right. Our bodies at that time, 26. That's when our frontal lobes fully develop too. Like that's when we actually understand right. what we are and what we're doing. And right. that's when we have a quarter life crisis. Like, why are we here? Right. Really, what are we doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's all that show. You had that shit early on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine because, people having drug overdoses well, at 40. They don't. They die. So before I met my girl, I talk about being homeless. So, dude, if we might have, we just might have to do like an interview sometime to talk mm-hmm. about just like where my, dude, that's I was what living. This is, dog. Just I was living, as, long as, it, as long as we want, bro. Yeah. I was living uh, in a West Philly basement. 32nd and Wallace in West Philly, fucking mm-hmm. with one of um my good homies. Um, we were both doing fucking heroin. You know, we thought life was cool. Damn, you went there. Did not, Shit. Not talking to my dude. How I old I am. How old uh, you? I think I was like nineteen, twenty. At and you had now you own like 20, you have your own shop. Dude, been, this I is might, a, it's so beautiful. It's like crazy. I think I might have been twenty, just turning twenty one or so. Mm-hmm. I, my timeline's a little fucked up. If I sat and really thought about it, I would be able to figure it out. Well, hold on, shit. 2017 is when he ended up passing away. January 14th, 2014. Mm. So, well, January 17th. Yeah, so, so, so it was before. So, it was a long time ago. It was, yeah, it was four, f- four years ago. So, yeah, I was like 20, 21, 22. Yeah, I was able to go to bar. So I was like at least 21, maybe 22. But, you know, ended up fucking, you know, I was leaving, right, leaving – the house to come back to Philly, kick it with my buddy. We didn't always keep tabs on each other, but we were just downstairs in my room in the basement, and we're fucking around. We took some pictures, and you know, my buddy had his camera and shit. Took some pictures, and he went up to his room. So I went to go tell him I was leaving for the weekend. I'll catch him banging on the door. You know what I mean? Banging on the door. Nobody's answering. Mm. His girlfriend wakes up. Oh fuck! And I said, you know. Well, open the fucking door, you know what I mean? And she opens the door. I'm trying to give them mouth to mouth. Watched them on, watched them on a fucking uh, ventilator for like a week and a half until we decided. Oh, so he to, wasn't dead? No, he OD'd. He lost oxygen to his brain, brain. so he, he was, was brain. Enough, dead. It was enough yeah. to get him back to that John. Yeah, so he was brain dead. He was living. No, no, he was in a coma. Oh, him. so he wasn't dead. He was in a coma. Yeah, right yeah, there. yeah. He was in a coma for Where? like a week and a half until it was like, okay, I guess we'll pull the plug type shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that was like a hard time. I continued. To, that's when I left West Philly. That's when I started living in my van, mm-hmm. right? In a fucking town and country van registered under my old yeah, home. Yeah, I saw girl. the mobile washer at back at your crib, like the washer and dryer. Yeah, yeah, that was, that's actually, uh, it was a gift given us for the really? apartment with the babies. Yeah, yeah. Dude, those I, things, I, that I, thing is I went to pla- I went to Planet Fitness I for want, my showers. I really do want a travel van, like a done Dude, up. Planet Fitness? For, yeah. Dude, I had a 50-inch you, TV ten in inches, there. $10 a month. You shower yeah. in the morning. You work out and shower in the morning. Yeah. It it was kind of I wasn't working out. Vibe. I, I should have. Oh, you just showered. But I just showered, but like I had no. But that's the thing about the lifestyle. Like for real. Like yeah. when you scoop me today for us to do this. Right. I fucking. This is the first time in my life that I packed the food mm-hmm. because I do not want to eat any more bullshit. Like right. I have to. I. Ha- I have bro, to dis- you gotta I look at my fridge. Have I'm, to I'm discipline trying, my yes. fucking self, bro. Discipline is the so thing. now so when I get, get so piss. you got that pool pork, you got yeah. the A in a second. Yeah. You got that pool pork, yeah. No, you can't pee yet. Raise yeah. your hand. 
<laughs> well, I got a P2. But you, you got that pulled pork. Plate? So, like, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I brought my shit. You got the pulled pork. Like, that shit together. It's both crock pot shit. It's on vibes. Oh, Dude, we got to take a piss. We'll be right back, you guys. Here's some vibes. We'll be right back. Gear, that was that. This is this. So, um, we actually have reached our quota on today. So, we're going to do another podcast, obviously. Me and Righteous Blasphemy are going to do a bunch of shit. But first, I have one question. If you had to fight in a battle to the death, oh my God, fuck. against another human being who only has this to use. I only have that to use. So does the person you're fighting. Okay. How would you kill them? And you have another person attacking you only with this. You can't attack and punch. No, it has to be only with, with that. that. I so know. I what would you what be? Was... What would your steps be? And how would you do? Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. You didn't know. You're like fuck. <laughs> oh, this is full. Yeah. So was this one. Facts. So. Well, they have it too, right? So. Yeah, so like you gotta think, ding, 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 they're coming at you. So we're both like You're fucking both like full of rage, in a rage or like. With that. <clears throat> like yeah. we're both like, fuck you. It ain't like my. I mean, you could be calm. You could be like. But like we're both, we aren't making it a yeah. squid game. We're we not both, making it out until we die. Yes, you have to. There ain't no trick like we could both live. Nah. Right. Well, but what if I can the try game to convince ends him? when one of you dies. What if I try to convince him that we can both live? No, and and as I'm whispering in his ear, this is what I would do. I uh, try to so I li- bro, listen, bro. I'm oh, you, you would go with logic. Yes, yes. So I'd be. You like, would try to finesse him. Uh, finesse the shit. Yes, I'd be like, bro. Listen, we don't have to do this. Like this is bullshit. You know what I mean? And so no, like, kind of like the dude in Squid <laughs> Game. You see, yeah, I did yeah, that yeah, with, like that the, with the marbles. Yeah, he took his marbles. Spoiler and, alert. Oh, you're man. spoiled. It's now, <laughs> if okay. you ain't watched Spo- Squid Game you're by right. the time this came out, at then, this time, at this point, yeah. Uh, not to finish, cut you off. Yeah, when people. Act like, how'd you watch a season in three days? Bro, I watched Bitch, it was shit. two movies. Dude, I watched that shit You in go to, night. you lay down in bed. Whole bunch of E and J. You put it on, <laughs> and then you go to bed, and you wake up, and then the next night, you know, instead of fucking scrolling through shit, yeah. you know, you yeah. put the TV on. Yeah, especially me me and my girl, we sat down, we watched it, we fucking drank a whole bunch of I E and J. It. it was good. It was, I've, it seen, was, I've seen stuff like it, but yeah. it was great. I think I think we watched, like, the first nine episodes in the night. That sounded thing. Oh, yeah. Did you hear Zed? Zed, yeah. that, Zed did a remix of that. That shit was tight. There's I'm so much hypocrisy in it, anymore. But there's so, there? like, so much hypocrisy. Just, no, someone, Watch it was only because I, I saw a meme. It was because, like, a rich guy making a song about rich people who watch people kill each other for thing, but Bro. he remixed it. And it's he's so technically hip- making, Hypocritical. Like, right. Doing, Bro, and then there's things like that. How about the shit you seen the shit with uh, the the Ross Rothschilds with, with the what? masks? Yeah, it's the same. Same yeah. word, dude. We're not dumb. We know these things, and like there ain't no law where they have to tell us what they're gonna do. There no, is none what? of that you shit. Fuck, yeah, but they're gonna just be like, yo, they're like jerking off in our face, you know? Yeah, they're mm-hmm. saying yo. So how would you kill all so, of them? Not the Rothschilds. <laughs> so I would all of the people who have that. There's only one coming against oh, yeah, it. Right? Yeah. Random, ding, ding, ding. Multiple universes yeah. of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, y'all are out. And it's so, the, yeah, it's so straight. I'm sitting yeah. here. I'm, I'm talking to him, right? I'm going to try to talk to You're him. You're going to be like, yo, 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 chill, yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah. Like, stop. Like, we we can, can both live. Yes. Like, and like, he'll be like, like, how? Like, you see the camera. So, hold on. Come here. I got to tell you, right? He like, ain't going to do that, dog. So it's like, hold on. Here, hold on. I got to tell you. <laughs> He's and, uh, not going to do it. What? You don't think so? He's going to be like, no. How are you going to do it? Tell me from over there. 
but that's what I would try to do. I would try to. Right, so so I'm going to come whisper in his ear, right? Like as I have my guard sweet down, nothings. sweet nothings in his ear. <laughs> and right once he lets his guard down, this is behind his neck. It's zipped, zipped, and, zipped and done. He's fucking done, dude. He's going to squirm a little bit. That, that's what I would try. I think that's all I got with that. That's, that's a. Uh, it's kind of fucked up. It's a psychological fuck you, <laughs> and now I will be psychologically evaluating you <laughs> through Dude, every step yo, of the way, Sam. Oh, shit. Yo, so <laughs> we'll, find, we'll find out later. I'm sure we'll do another podcast. Find over. out in 10 episodes if we die well, or not. Well, I can tell you why I had to call Dyfus on myself and Oh, yeah, there's like a lot. That. There's, Dude, I didn't even talk. This was, this was the yeah. most fun podcast for me Cool. because I wanted to say in the middle of it, but I'll say it now. If y'all didn't know, this is my therapy. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, th- music is therapy, everything that I do, but this is my therapy. So when I speak to people and when I have a, a buddy who's on who gets a little too stoned and doesn't talk a lot. And dude, I, imagine and I, if I would have smoked weed in this. <laughs> I, I would have been, been so I never weird. Smoked you. Oh, dude, we'll, but, we'll smoke tonight. Be but, fine. There's, but there's but. situations where, like, okay, I realize that I need to be annoying buggy right now and i'm very aware of when i'm annoying buggy when i cross the line this was the first time that i was like oh like i can just sit and listen to like a full story you know what i mean so like your story is definitely going to be continued we're going to document the rest of that shit shout out to coco evolve again for all these shows righteous blasphemy all those motherfuckers see y'all over there we're gonna rage but yeah tomorrow's gonna be a vibe thanks again dude cheers love you you too brother thank you so much